You initially criticized her performance with someone that you beat very decisively. What did you take away from watching that performance with her against Annabelle? Uh, against Annabelle. Um, you know, I, I, I knew Annabelle would do exactly what she, what she did. And um, she made it a, a rough fight, a tough fight, a rough fight, rough fight on the inside. Um, and Annabelle Ortiz is that type of fighter. That's why my game plan going into the fight was to make it to look, make it look as clear and crisp as possible. And I don't think no one's ever beat Annabelle in that way, but that's all because of my footwork, my defense, and being able to stay smart and stick to the game plan throughout the whole fight. And I know, um, I mean, Viola's not really capable of that. So, uh, uh, yeah, it was a, a rough fight between them. Now you're from East LA. Talk, about, talk to us about that culture of, you know, Los Angeles. There's a big um, wave of, of people in Los Angeles who back you just for, you know, being from East LA. How does that, you know, come into your identity of being from from East Los Angeles? Um, yeah, it, it, as a I fighter, carry, I carry with with that into the ring with me. Being from East LA and being from where I come from, um, there's not many fighters who come from East LA uh, that make it to this position. Of course, Oscar De La Hoya being somebody that I looked up to as a kid because he did it. Um, but I carry that East LA with me into the ring all the time because it's just. You know, you fight with hard heart. You fight with pride, uh, knowing that you have East LA backing you, you have LA backing you, and you wanna you wanna make uh, everyone where you come from proud. So that's what I'm hoping to do throughout my whole career.